Brides, so we are so excited to have you here today for uh, the next episode of The Bride's Guide. So today we have Jordan from Vessels Catering and she's going to be talking all things food with us related to your wedding day. So I feel like, yes, the florals and everything are just so important for the wedding day and right, your dress, your look, all of that is so important. But guys, food is definitely one of the highlights for the guest on your wedding day. And it's one of the things that you wanna make sure is perfect. So we're just so excited to have her here to answer all the questions that we may want to know about that, about catering. So before we begin, we would love for you to tell us a little bit about you, about your business, how long you've been in business, how you got started and all that fun stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Vessels has been around for 14 years um, and we are a completely custom scratch kitchen. So really we you know, strive to have the bride and groom's wedding day in their menu really reflect them. Um, similar to a signature cocktail, we want people to come in and be like, wow, this is totally them. Okay, so my next question for you, I know that availability is super, super important, especially when it comes to all your yummy food. You wanna make sure that you have a caterer that can provide that. So how long in advance should a couple be um, booking you guys and reaching out? So typically I say between 10 months to a year out. Um, and that way, you know, we can make sure that we're definitely available for your date. And then if you want to wait to come in for a tasting a little bit closer, um, so that way you can taste the food that's actually going to be, you know, in season for your wedding. Um, that's kind of what I recommend. Yeah. 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 I love that. So yeah, definitely. I feel like the more that you plan, the better. Um, just, I think that's just weddings in general, <laughs> the more yeah. time you put, <laughs> the, better it's the, gonna be. the better it's going to be. So just don't, don't skip out on that because again, food is a big thing for your wedding day. So now, um, in addition to that, uh, choosing the menu for the day is super, super important. And like you said, you guys like to make sure that it's custom to the couple. Right. So how do you guys help them through the process of that? Yeah, so, you know, some couples, whenever they come to us, they know exactly what they want. Um, but other couples are kind of like, hey, I don't really know where to start. Um, so we really like to give them the opportunity to tell us exactly what they want. So we send them a wedding questionnaire, it asks them a series of questions about their flavor profile, what they definitely do want to see on the menu, what they don't want to see, dietary restrictions, all those things. Um, and then we build custom proposals based on that answer. So in addition to just the regular menu, so many guests have a lot of dietary needs and restrictions. So how do you help your couples kind of navigate through that and help accommodate their guests? After we get, you know, the core part of their menu done, um, I always tell them to just include something on the RSVP card that asks about dietary restrictions. Um, and then after that, they come to us with a count of, you know, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, um, and we just kind of cater to that. Most of our menu options can be made gluten-free pretty easy, um, but if you know you need vegetarian specific entrees, we can definitely do that. So in addition to those just those guests that you know need those special requests, mm -hmm. we also have a vendors that are going to be there like yes. us, like the photographers, right? This is the good part where we oh, yeah. get to go and eat and enjoy some of the food. So how do you provide vendor meals um, for your couple vendors that are there like the photographer or the right. planner? So we always have, you know, an electric warming cabinet with us that helps keep the food hot. So typically whenever it's time for the vendors to eat, we will have them um, their meals that box and in that warming cabinet so whenever they have a free minute they're able to just run in the kitchen grab that hot meal and then run down and eat yeah. some food for yeah. whenever they can that's so nice yes. and i know we've worked a lot of weddings together and mm -hmm. trust me i look forward to the food <laughs> and you definitely i feel like you want your vendors to look forward to the food because that's like the one time that they get to refuel and then kind of yes. <laughs> keep going on for your day so absolutely so um, we know that some couples decide to opt for a buffet and then some couples decide to opt for a sit down dinner. Mm -hmm. How do you help couples navigate this? Like when should they opt for a buffet dinner and when should they opt for more of a sit down dinner? Yeah, so a couple of things go into this. Um, one of those things being cost. So as far as price point goes, a seated dinner is gonna be more expensive than a buffet. Um, the second thing that really is gonna go into it is what the feel of the night is gonna be. So if your wedding is you know, more formal, 
um, then a seated dinner is definitely the way to go. But if you think that your guests are gonna be more comfortable and enjoy themselves more um, in a casual setting, then I definitely recommend the buffet. And I think both options are really good. Mm -hmm. So definitely just like choosing the one that you just feel more comfortable Absolutely. is good for you. So yeah. either way. And I mean, your guests will eat well both. Yeah. So after just deciding on the menu mm -hmm. and everything um, that they want to include as far as food, right? It's important right. that they have enough food for the day yes. of. <laughs> um, so when do you require a final um, head count so mm -hmm. that you can provide enough food for the day of. Right. So we actually don't require final headcount until 10 days before the wedding. So you have a long time um, and that just gives us a, you know, enough time to order and prep and get everything done. So 10 days. We know that this can vary depending on the wedding, but mm -hmm. how do you guys determine how much staff goes to a wedding to help out and kind of, you know, cater to the couple. Yeah, a lot of different things factor into this decision as well. Um, and one of those is the service style. So you're gonna need, um, you know, more staff for a plated dinner than you would for a buffet. And it also depends on the venue. So if you're at just a regular wedding venue um, versus a private residence, you know, you're gonna need more staff at a private residence wedding than you would at a venue because there's probably a lot more labor involved. Yeah. So we obviously know that catering provides the food, but what um, other services do you guys provide in addition to the food? Yeah, so we are full service. So we come with a team of great staff um, that includes an event manager, a bartender if you need one, um, servers, a culinary team um, that's going to help execute your event from start to finish. And then we also will have um, the option for you guys to get linens, china, glassware, flatware um, from rental companies that we partner with. Um, and I find that people really do like to take advantage of this option because it's just one less thing that they have to coordinate and handle and choose and so us being able to do that for them and um, people really like that yeah that's amazing yeah because mm -hmm. i like think i'm like well yeah we have food but we also need plates so right like, you need all the things <laughs> yeah so getting it from one place would be like i feel like as a bride would be like yes let's yes. go with them yeah you know one that. last person you have to talk yeah. to <laughs> exactly exactly so we would love for you to just kind of run us through what a typical day looks like for you guys in Vessels Catering. For each event, we have our event managers arrive to Vestals two hours before they even need to leave. Um, in this time, they are checking the food, they're checking the equipment, they're loading the vans, and they're doing all of these things to make sure that whenever we get there, we have everything we need. Um, when we arrive to the event, um, they check all the food again, just triple check, make sure we really have everything. Um, and then we begin setting up. So we fold the napkins, we set your flatware, fill your water goblets, all of that stuff to get everything you know, beautiful for the photographers and videographers to get that room shot. Um, and then throughout the event, we bust, we clean, we do everything so that really you can just relax and enjoy your day. Yeah. Eat that amazing food, yes. <laughs> which is honestly the highlight of your day. Absolutely. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and then um, I always like to kind of just finish up these videos just by asking you, um, if you could give a couple of tips to our brides, what would you let them know? Yeah, um, one thing I would definitely say is, uh, you know, don't let the trends overwhelm you. You know, make your wedding day really feel like you. Um, and if something is super trendy but you don't love it, then you don't have to do it. Um, really just make sure that, you know, whenever you look back on your wedding day, you're like, wow, that really does reflect us. Absolutely. Yes. I love that. I feel like you can <laughs> honestly apply that to literally every single thing in your yes. wedding. <laughs> of course, yes. Yeah. So it was such a pleasure talking with you today and um, you had so much great information to just share with our brides. I hope that all of you guys enjoyed everything that Jordan shared with us and that um, you guys were able to find this video insightful. Um, so we will definitely link all of Vessel's catering information down below so that you guys can go check them out. They are just such an amazing catering yeah. company here in the DFW area. So if you guys haven't already done so, make sure you go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when the next video is up. And again, Jordan, thank you so much thank for you being so much here. Thank you so much for having yeah, me. It was a pleasure. It was really amazing um, to share just your knowledge with our brides. Absolutely. And we look forward to having you guys around for the next video. And thanks so much.